you. And as you might expect, on the day before Thanksgiving, there is the hustle and bustle of the holiday travel rush at airports all over South Florida. CBS 4's Deborah Souverine is live now in Miami International Airport with how things are looking this morning. And well, this afternoon, I guess it's a lot different than 5 o'clock this morning. Absolutely, Keith. You know, we've been here since 5 a.m., so we've seen the rush and the calm. Airport officials tell me that there will be fluctuations throughout the day. However, overall, today is the highest travel volume this airport has seen since 2019. Long lines early this morning at Miami International Airport ahead of Thanksgiving. It's been very busy, very, very busy. Jeff Grant and his family arrived to the airport early, but they couldn't beat this holiday rush. I'm expecting it to be this busy. I was hoping it was going to be a little slower so we could cruise through these big lines here at TSA. And you should prepare for long lines for sure. Today alone, MIA is expecting nearly 140,000 travelers to walk through these terminals. It's the first time since the pandemic that the airport is seeing this travel volume. On Sunday, we had uh, 158,000 passengers coming through the airport, which was just shy of a, a record ever, which was 160,000. Airport officials say the key to traveling this week is to be patient and do things to help yourself. There's new technology at screening areas, so you won't have to take electronics out of your carry-on. Check your flight status and make sure you get here with enough time. Our standard is, is, is two hours for a domestic flight and three for an international flight. Um, but now we've increased it to two and a half to three and a half. Um, the more time you give yourself, the better off you, the passenger is going to be. And you can take this guy's word for it. He arrived two hours early and still missed his connection flight due to long lines. Came were, last night. Oh, you've been here since last night? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's wow. my bed, yeah. <laughs> He's all smiles because after sleeping on that hard floor overnight, he's headed home for Thanksgiving. So the moral of the story, give yourself ample time this week because you will likely be waiting a bit longer this time of year to clear security. Now, airport officials tell me that the garages are already full, so if you are traveling this week, it's best to use ride sharing to get dropped off here um, throughout the week. We're live at MIA. I'm Deborah Souverain, CBS4. Great suggestion, ride share. All right, Deborah, thank you. Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, also expected to be a busy destination today and for the next several days. This was the scene at the airport earlier this morning. Airport officials say approximately 604,000 travelers will pass through FLL by next Monday, which, by the way, marks the end of the holiday season season. If that holds true, it would be a 26% increase in passengers over the same seven day period last year, but it's still 25% less than the pre pandemic traffic in 2019. The busiest travel days at FLL are expected to be today, Saturday, as well as Sunday. And if you're hitting the road to visit loved ones this Thanksgiving, you should keep this in mind. AAA says the best times to hit the road are today after 9 p.m. tonight. If you're traveling on Thanksgiving Day, consider leaving before 11 in the morning. When it's time to head back home Friday before 11 a.m., Saturday and Sunday before noon are the best times to hit the road. The lightest traffic is expected tomorrow.